KTLA 5's John Finolio here in studio with the latest. John? Well, Cher and Glenn, the FBI and congressional investigations into Russia's role in the election are reaching more of President Trump's associates. All this as the president tries to get his domestic agenda back in the spotlight. The White House on the defensive. The president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, now in the FBI's crosshairs over meetings with Russian officials during the transition. Kushner reportedly discussed setting up a secret communications channel with Russia inside their embassy. Press Secretary Sean Spicer deflecting questions about the reports while stopping short of denying them. Mr. Kushner's attorney has said that uh, Mr. Kushner has volunteered to share with Congress what he knows about these meetings, and he will do the same if he's contacted in or in connected with any other inquiry. Did the president discuss it, though? I, I'm there? not going to get into what the president did or did not discuss. On Twitter, the president again calling media reports on possible collusion between his campaign and Moscow fake news. But the investigations are very real. Congressional investigators want to speak with one of Mr. Trump's personal attorneys, Michael Cohen. But Cohen says he won't testify unless subpoenaed. Then there's former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. He was subpoenaed and now says he will hand over documents. And White House Communications Director Mike Dubke is stepping down, raising the possibility of a broader staff shakeup. Former campaign advisors like Corey Lewandowski and David Bossie met with Mr. Trump Monday in the West Wing. This as the president spars with one of America's closest allies, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who said again on Tuesday, there are more reasons than there even were before to take our fate into our hands in Europe. The president firing back on Twitter. We have a massive trade deficit with Germany, plus they pay far less than they should on NATO and military. Very bad for U.S. This will change. And the president stayed out of sight today, but on Twitter, he did mention some domestic agenda items, such as tax reform and repealing Obamacare. Still, the president, like much of his White House, appears unable to change the narrative beyond the Russia controversy. I'll send it back to you. All right, John, thank you.